What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dave P. with The Cream. If you're new to the channel, The Cream is for cash flow, real estate, and money. We are full-time real estate investors. And today, we are going to be talking about 12 positive affirmations that real estate professionals should incorporate into their daily routine. And the way this came up today is we had a great sales meeting. We've been putting a lot of work into our acquisition staff and buying a ton of houses. But mindset certainly is a very important piece to any sales position, but especially real estate. Because if you're not making sales in in this business, you eat what you kill is the uh, the tagline that we use. So got to keep ourselves in a good state of mind. And these 12 affirmations are 12 that we actually said as a team today. And uh, these are affirmations I've actually been saying for years, but I encourage all real estate professionals to check these out. I actually got to give credit where credit is due. I got these affirmations from an instructor, from somebody I, I purchased a course from uh, back in the day named Eben Pagan. So Eben Pagan, if you're out there, uh, thank you for these affirmations. Affirmations, and they are serving us well in our real estate business. So affirmation number one, money is a tool that I use to create value, assets, and wealth. Let me repeat that. Money is a tool that I use to create value, assets, and wealth. And what you're going to notice, the theme here of all of these affirmations are all completely, you know, getting us in the right frame of mind about money. I think there's a lot of conditioning and programming out there. Um, it comes from our, our teachers, our parents, and just growing up that money is the root of all evil or money is a bad thing. All of these affirmations are designed to get us in a good state of mind about money so we can openly receive money, produce more value, and uh, reap the rewards and reap what we sow. So number one, money is a tool that I use to create value, assets, and wealth. Number two, wealthy people are good, generous people. I think it's so important to acknowledge and know and tell yourself and wire yourself to know that wealthy people are good and just people. I think if we, you know, uh, veer off track and get into the media, I mean, the, the media is constantly going to demonize anyone who has money. Well, money or, you know, wealthy people are do a lot of good in this world, do tons of good in this world um, by producing, by producing businesses, producing their products, um, you know, obviously charitable uh, donations and things like that from wealthy people produce a lot of results and change people's lives. So it is good to acknowledge that wealthy people are good, generous people. Number three, I bless wealth and all the people that have it. I like that affirmation a lot. I bless wealth and all the people that have it right? This way we're not walking around in that hater type of mentality where it's like, you know, uh, oh, these rich people are bad people or something like that. No, I bless wealth and all the people that have it. Be part of it, right? Number four, I deserve wealth and give myself permission to create wealth. Wow, that's powerful. I'll read it again. I deserve wealth and give myself permission to create wealth. That deserving piece, I think, is so important. Let us know in the comments or let us know if any one of these affirmations ring true for you or you're you know, interested in incorporating this into your daily routine. But I like that one. That one stands out to me. I deserve wealth. And knowing that in your mindset, knowing that you deserve wealth and that you are going to do good things with the wealth that you are generating and creating, but to, it all starts with knowing that you deserve it. Right. I think it's so easy to get lost in the conditioning and programming of I don't deserve it. I'm not good enough. I think that's the number one mindset killer is I am not good enough. I'm here to let you know in this video and these affirmations are going to remind us that you are good enough. You do have a voice. Your life does matter. Next up, I bless all wealth and all the wealth in my life. I control the process of creating wealth and becoming wealthy. I like that one. I control the process of creating wealth and becoming wealthy. Well, what does that mean? Well, um, you control the process. You're in control of your own destiny. You're in control of your own life, right? And to take that personal responsibility and to remind yourself of that personal responsibility, it puts all the power back into your hands. There, that way, there's not something outside of you that is just making you, you know, oh, I could have been something more, but this happened or that happened. No, make it completely, um, you know, in your responsibility. You have the power to do this. 
really like that one. I am personally responsible for creating the value that results from all the wealth in my life. Let me repeat that. I am personally responsible for creating the value that results from all the wealth in my life. And that reminds me of the first one. Money is a tool that I use to create value assets in wealth. Well, when we start to think about building wealth from a, a place of I'm responsible for all the value that I'm going to create from the wealth that I attract into my life, you start thinking about, wow, instead of, oh, let me just go out and, you know, try to make money or like do something to try to make money. No, I want to produce value. I want to make value. So wealth allows us to produce value. That is a powerful affirmation right there, everybody. I'll repeat it. I re I'm personally responsible for creating the value that results from all the wealth in my life. Next up, I become wealthy to the degree that I help others become wealthy. I become wealthy to the degree that I help others become wealthy. That's what I want to do with these videos. That's what I want to produce. Because think about it. I'm putting this out there to the internet. It's going to be on YouTube. I am streaming it live on some social media stuff today. But guess what? You know, people who view this video, they're going to get value from it. But I am telling myself these affirmations over and over again. It is just helping me build my wealth by sharing it with you all. So that is really powerful. I become wealthy to the degree that I help others become wealthy. Hey, you, te you tell 10 different people a business idea, tell 10 different people a positive affirmation. You told yourself that idea. You told yourself that affirmation 10 different times. See how that works? I think it's so easy to fall into a negative mindset of, well, I'm not going to tell anyone. I have this idea. I have this affirmation. I'm afraid of looking stupid. I don't want these people to steal my idea. No. When you, when you keep it all bottled up inside and not share it, you're actually not able to tell yourself this stuff anymore either. So keep repeating it, getting support from other people. That's what I want to continue with all of our viewers. So i got a few more here. I'm really liking these affirmations. If you find value in our channel, it would mean the world if you subscribed to us. We are constantly doing everything we can to put out positive uh, videos and a lot of real estate and wealth building content. And of course, hit that bell for the notifications uh, so you can stay up to date whenever we post new videos. We post videos weekly and um, we do appreciate the support. Next up. I create as much value as possible in every situation, whether I'm paid for it or not. Bam. Think about that. Let me repeat it. I become or I create as much value as possible in every situation, whether I'm paid for it or not. It doesn't cost any money to make people feel good. It doesn't cost money to add value, right? I So tell ourselves, program ourselves, let's create as much value as we possibly can in any situation, whether we're paid for it or not. Hey, we all respect our time and whatnot, but when you put yourself into a, in a mindset, doesn't matter what situation that I'm in, I'm going to add as much value as I possibly can, whether I'm paid for it or not then the wealth is attracted to that mentality. You are looking for more opportunities to add value. And that a lot of these, uh, these affirmations, you can tell exactly how they are. It's talking about creating value and being rewarded with wealth and then using that wealth to produce even more value. This is such positive stuff. Next up, I become more attractive to wealthy and healthy people by displaying my inner qualities. Let me say it again. I become more attractive to wealthy and healthy people by displaying my inner qualities. I take I take notice to that one because it's like, it really is from within, right? And I do a lot of these videos and stuff like that. And it wasn't always easy. I enjoy it now, but I was so shy and I, you know, just afraid to make these videos or I was always, you know, bogging it down with, you know, a lot of, you know, stuff to try to, I don't know, look cool or something like that, because it's like, there's always this natural fear of I'm going to look stupid, right? 
you know, that's our inner qualities. My inner qualities, I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy adding value and whatnot. Um, but I got to focus on my inner qualities and I got to express myself, express my true authentic inner qualities. And this is programming me to know that wealthy and healthy people are attracted to my inner qualities. It is not just the external for very little external guys. We've got to hone in on our inner qualities and live it. Next up, I appreciate every challenge and setback as an essential lesson in my development creating wealth. Look, we all know there's a lot of setbacks. There's, you know, the, nothing is perfect. I mean, have you ever seen the, the road to success? It's like a zigzag, right? It's up, it's down. And but this is programming us to know that we appreciate every single challenge and every single setback as an essential lesson in our development, creating wealth. And we are constantly under development. We're constantly working on ourselves here at The Cream and uh, in our networks. And I'm so happy to have you as part of this as well. Next, money and wealth is my last one. I'll buzz through them really quick without stopping. And, uh, and I encourage you to take these th things with you every single day. Let's start doing it daily. If this is something you want to adapt and, and start incorporating, I'll do them with you every day. I really would. Let us know. Last one. Money and wealth are forever circulating freely through my life. And there is always a divine surplus. I love that because it just reinforces the abundance mentality. It's so easy to get caught up of, you know, inside there's not enough type of mentality. You know, this is telling us there is a divine surplus of wealth and abundance for us if we just tap into it and add value. So let me go ahead, run through these really quick. And uh, first one, money is a tool that I use to create value, assets, and wealth. Wealthy people are good, generous people. I bless wealth and all the people that ha have it. I deserve wealth and give myself permission to create wealth. I control the process of creating wealth and becoming wealthy. I am personally responsible for creating the value that results from all the wealth in my life. I become wealthy to the degree that I help others become even more wealthy. I create as much value as possible in every situation, whether I'm paid for it or not. I become more attractive to wealthy and healthy people by displaying my inner qualities. I appreciate every challenge and setback as an essential lesson in my development creating wealth. Money and wealth are forever circulating through my life and there is always a divine surplus. So this has been a presentation. Again, affirmations I got from Eben Pagan. I'm so grateful for these affirmations. I encourage you to check, check out Eben Pagan, check out these affirmations, rewatch this video. And uh, hopefully I was able to add a little value to you. Make sure you tune in. Uh, we post more videos that are positive in real estate and wealth building videos all the time. Uh, it's your boy, Dave P. And I'll see you on the next video.